let's look at the return type of methods, whereas we look at methods that return no value and methods that return a value. How does this return type look like? Method and functions that return a value should always specify the return type inside of the method signature. Right now, this value that we return is of type boolean and therefore we should also specify as a return type boolean. The problem is, if you don't define a return type within your method or function, then Dart will automatically return the type dynamic. So Dart doesn't infer the return type based on the function or method body which means if you have a value that is of type boolean that is returned, then Dart will not automatically return a type of boolean. It will still return a type of dynamic if you don't specify the return type. Let's look at a practical example. This method or function is returning a value of type boolean. However, we don't specify the return type boolean. Now, if you call this function within your code, you can still put this value that is returned inside of this Boolean field. The big problem is that our function is not type safe, so we can also put this Boolean value into other types such as integer, string, and so on. This works only without compiler warnings because our function returns the type dynamic. If you run your app, then your app will automatically crash because you cannot put a Boolean value into an integer type or string type. And the compiler is not warning us right now because we have not specified the return type. However, if you specify the return type, then you see that the compiler is warning us because we cannot put this Boolean value into other types such as integer or string and therefore the compiler is warning us. So far we have learned it is important to specify the return type of your method and functions so that the outside world can securely access these values. Another advantage is if you forget to return a value from this function, then the compiler will automatically warn us that this is not working. On the other hand, if no return type is specified, then the compiler cannot warn us. So always put a return type to your functions. Next, for methods and functions that return no value inside their body, you still should have a return type defined. So always make sure that you define the return type void in case no value is returned from your function. This return type void has multiple advantages. First of all, if we call this function, then we cannot put any value back into our fields because this method or function doesn't have any return value. And secondly, this void return type makes sure that we cannot return any values inside our function because the void keyword means that we cannot return any values. And if we try to return a value, then we also get a compiler warning. Whereas if you don't have this void return type, then you don't get any compiler warnings anymore. And even if we don't have any return value inside this function, then we also don't get any compiler warnings if we try to put this not existing value inside of a field. And with this, our application will crash at runtime because we try to put no value into a Boolean field. Let's also look at some practical examples to apply our knowledge. For the first function, it is wrong because we have no return type. In this case, we return the value data, which is of type string, and therefore make sure to add the return type string. For the next function, it also has no return type, which is again wrong. Instead, the return value has a type of integer and therefore make sure to add the return type integer. And finally, this function has no return value and therefore it is also wrong to not specify any return type. Make sure to specify the return type void because we don't return any value.